If we look at a Eureka Math Sprint, and this is grade one, module four, lesson seven, um, and we'll look at one from third grade and fifth grade as well. The short of it is like kids get one minute to do as many problems on the front, and then they score them and take a little break, and then they get one minute to see how many problems they can do on the back. And hopefully they see growth, right? Um, the problem or the my concern with running sprints in this fashion is that you really, really start to emphasize and maybe over promote speed and accuracy as like the two main components of fluency. And we really, uh, we could get in a pickle where we disregard the strategy piece and then the, also the transfer of the strategy. Cause we really want to see, um, those components to really, you know, get this multi-pronged approach to fluency. Right. Um, so what we want to do is really bring attention to those strategies and the sprints are actually full of different strategies. And so what we're going to do is talk about how we can use number talks prior to the sprint to really, you know, have kids share strategies so that when they go to do the sprint, um, they're not just looking for speed and speed and correct answers. Okay. They're seeing a pattern, they're seeing a strategy and they're applying that over and over again. And then hopefully what you don't end up having is having as kids only being able to get like three problems correct because prior to doing the sprint, you've already talked about um, the strategy kids might be using. Okay. So for example, and take a look at these sprints to really see what's going on. We have addition of one, we have subtraction of one, but then we also have addition of tens, subtractions of tens and twenties and so on. Okay. So my number talk might look something like this. And these number talks are supposed to be quick, three to four minutes and that's it. Um, I might pose six plus one and just ask kids, Hey, think about this and then share our strategy, give them some independent think time first. Right. And then write those different strategies they mentioned on the side. And then I'll ask 16 minus one, write down the strategies they, they share, uh, 16 plus 10 and then 16 minus 10. And hopefully that puts kids in a better position to apply different strategies to these problems as they, uh, problems as they work through them. Okay. So let's take a look at a third grade example. Um, so here we're taking multiples of 10. All right. And there's a bunch of actually different strategies packed within here. Two times three is six. Uh, these two problems are the same, right? Multiplying two by 10 and dividing 30 by 10. Uh, if you multiply one by 10 and divide the other by 10, you actually get the same product, all right? But there's a lot of different strategies baked in here uh, we want to call attention to. So your number talk, um, you know, just have kids share out different strategies they're using to find these products, all right? And like I said, put them in a better place to be successful on the sprint. Uh, and then here's a fifth grade example. We have division uh, with fractions and division with whole numbers. All right, so seeing what's going on here, we have a fraction divided by a whole number, da, 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 and then down in five and six, we actually see a whole number divided by a fraction. So my number talk is probably gonna include both types of those examples. All right, so here we go. A fourth divided into two groups, two divided into fourths, and then we have a fourth divided into three groups, and three divided into fourths. Okay, now remember, the, the purpose of this is to really highlight different strategies and how they can be transferred to different problems, all right, and not just getting hung up on speed and accuracy.